Hey guys, PDF and Peach Tools. Today I want to have a bit of a chat about uh, Cut 50 Plasma Cutter Consumables. A lot of you guys have got the Cut 50 machine and you need to know a little bit about the consumables and what you can use them for and, and what they're designed to do and that sort of thing and where to get them if you want to replace them. Uh, if you've got a uh, torch like any one of these, um, then your chances are you're probably running a Cut 50 machine. Anyway guys, check the video out and uh, I'll give you some tips and tricks. Hi guys, so if you're running a Cut 50 plasma cutter machine, um, chances are you're going to have one of these torches that, are, that I'm showing you now. This is a uh, PT31 torch, which is a basic Chinese torch that a lot of the Chinese manufacturers put on their uh, genetic machines. And uh, the Cut 50 and that sort of thing normally runs this torch, or it may run something that looks like that. Um, but that's two, generally the two torches that it runs. So I'll show you the PT31 torch first, it's just a basic, basic little torch. And this probably has the cheapest consumables on the market. So we'll pull it to bits and have a look at it. We've got a um, got your shield cap here, just standard shield cap. You've got your nozzle here. You've got your uh, swirl ring here that makes your gas come out in the right direction at the right speed. And you've got a double-ended electrode here, which is uh, all good. You just turn it over and you start cutting again, which is all brilliant. Now, like I said, these are probably the cheapest consumables that you can buy, and this is the cheapest sort of torch to run on a uh, on a little 50 amp plasma cutter. 40 amp plasma cutters use this too sometimes, but um, cut 50 is the majority of, of where these come from. So, uh, if you need some of these consumables, I'll drop a link down below. And you also may run a torch that looks like this on your cut 50 machine, and this is uh, an AG60 torch. And um, this has the same sort of thing, that is the, uh, the cap, ceramic cap. These have a little bit of a different sort of um, cutting nozzle. These are a little bit more complex. And this here has the electrode, but it's not double-ended, it's only single-ended. So there is, these are only single-use, whereas the PT31 are double-use. And this here has a swirl ring automatically combined into torch here and this is not replaceable so if your swirl ring cracks or anything you have to replace the whole torch head so um, I'll put a link also where you can get these from but these are more expensive torches to run than the little PT31 torch so uh, that's the difference that I've noticed in the um, 50 amp machines so a lot of people actually change the torch from this one to this one because it's a little bit cheaper to run and uh, just a little bit more, more economical but it just depends what you like and here we have an, another AG60 torch which is just a different style again which also could be on the um, on your 50 amp plasma cutter machine but it has the same consumables as this um, but this one here if you notice this one here on the on the um, ceramic shield here it doesn't have the space for the um, for the um, wire cage which holds it off whatever you're cutting so it gives you a better control on the thing but that's just, just a different sort of cap than this this is interchangeable we will take it off this torch and we'll take that off there and then uh, we can just interchange it on here and here you have it on that torch so you can either you can buy these uh, ceramic cups you can either buy them the short version or you can buy them the long version with the um, groove in here that you can put your spacer on there for, to help control your cutting a little bit more. But um, the PT31 torch doesn't have that and it doesn't have the option either. You cannot um, put this spacer on a PT31 torch. But they're the only two that I've found for uh, the uh, Cut 50 machine. If you guys are running anything different on your Cut 50, I'd really appreciate it if you'd, um, if you'd let me know. Um, so I can do a video on that as well. But they are the most two common torches. And uh, like I say, the um, consumables are easily available. But the cheapest ones are these ones. Now also, on your Cut 50, you may be running a pencil torch, as they call it. They might use that on like on a, a small CNC machine or something like that. Once again, it is exactly the same consumables as on this one. It's done. Your cup your tips, your swirl ring, your double-ended electrode. I like these because you can just spin them over, 
you wear out one end, you spin it over and do it again. It's, it's really quite a brilliant idea actually. And like I said, they're as cheap as chips to buy. So um, I've actually converted my machine. My machine originally came with a torch like this, and I converted it to this because we don't really have a lot of choice of where we can buy our consumables here in New Zealand. So that's just the way it is. So uh, this is the pencil torch for a 50 amp machine. Now, also on the 50 amp guys, you can have nickel plated consumables for this torch, double ended, but they're nickel plated. And uh, with the nickel plating, see, whoops, got the wrong tip there. Nickel plating here, nickel plating, and with the nickel plating, I think it's just a little bit harder and it just cuts a little bit better. That's just my personal preference on the nickel plating, but it just fits on the same standard torch. But you can not only get nickel plating, what you can get is shorter tips as well. See the shorter style tip? If you want to know more about the shorter style tips, click up the top there. I've got another video about what you can do, what these are designed to do. So you can have a look at that as well if Torch, you want to. So you just put the shorter ones in like that. Put your swirl ring in over the top of that. Make sure you're using a short cap with a short electrode. And then just uh, screw the whole lot back together. And it uh, fits in there perfectly. Perfectly fine like so. And then you've got a shorter version of it. Um, you can um, also get the shorter ones in nickel plated as well. So we have a nickel plated one here and a nickel plated uh, electrode. Once again, it fits in the same torch, it's no drama at all. The only thing you have to do is if you're using a short electrode, use a short tip. You can't mix and match the uh, a short electrode and a long tip because that won't work. But um, as long as you stick with the short tip, short electrode, exactly the same swirl ring, you can use it either long or short. It doesn't matter, just stick with um, one sort in your torch and you'll be fine. And um, if you want to replace your uh, your plasma torch, like you want to swap it out from like this this one here to something like this or something like this, click the uh, card up the top there, and uh, I'll show you a video on how to do that as well. So uh, until next time, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed my videos. If you like my videos, remember to subscribe and uh, drop me a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.